touchscreen phones, and then the good touchscreen phones. But today, I'm going to be talking about the middle of this line, the better touchscreen phones. I mean, flip phones. So what is this? This is an LG Wine 2. I have, I still have no idea why they call it the Wine series. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, there was a Wine 1. But I don't have that one. This is the Wine 2. So, this is a very nice phone. It's big. It's very big. And it has a lot of nice features that I guess are new to the flip phone market. For one, it's pretty slim. I mean, compared to other flip phones. I mean, look at this beast. Like, seriously. It's very stylish. It's just like this stylish series of flip phones. It has a very simplistic look to it, and it's nothing too fancy like this flip phone right here. So it's a simple, yet fancy phone. Well, that's good, right? When we open it up, things get a bit different. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's gigantic. It's bigger than my hand. I mean, seriously. If I go ahead and take my homemade phone stand. Hold on. It's not configured properly. Let's try to fit it on here. Look at that. It is huge. Alright, so let's go ahead and have a closer look. So what have we here? Speaker. LCD. I actually think that the LCD is a bit too small. I mean, look at all this leftover space. I mean, really? Um, now we have our buttons here. Uh, we have our soft keys. Speaker on and off. Back button, kind of. D-pad and OK. Now these are the like the quick launch buttons, kind of like in the Windows Explorer. Uh, this is for the widgets, because yes, this phone does have widgets, which is interesting. Alarm clock, photos, and in my case, Easy Edge, which is like an app store. Send and end. Uh, one through zero, blah, blah, blah. And yes, it does have a lock feature, like most other flip phones. On the back, we have a another LCD, nice little camera, a speaker, and an FM radio. It says that, that it has an FM radio, but like pretty much any other flip phone, you need one of these to get any signal. And what I don't understand about flip phones, and pretty much all of them have it, what's with these two and a half millimeter headphone jacks? I mean, seriously, it's a pain to get these things like 2.5 millimeters and same with this one I just don't understand why not three and a half millimeters and make it done with because this is the only normal pair of two and a half millimeter headphones that I have the other ones are like branded for like Sony Ericsson or Samsung stuff alright um we also have volume rockers and micro USB port. You can plug this into a computer and it acts as a USB modem. So you can do dial up networking with it, which is interesting. Uh, we have a micro SD card slot, just like my Motorola Crush here, which is interesting. Um, camera button and voice command slash voice memo button. Uh, taking off the back cover here, we have. Um, I don't know what 3.4 WH is, voltage, 900 milliamp hour, which is kind of strong, but, but hey, who cares. Alright, let's go ahead and power this thing up. Very nice, sharp, bright LCD here. Alright, so, here we are. Now, this was my mom's phone, but I just personalized it. 
And I have Toothless over there, being all happy and dragony that he is. Oh, and who has seen um, How to Train Your, Your Dragon 2? It's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen it yet, go jump off a cliff. Okay, so... So let's have a look at the widgets, first of all. Now, I have personalized the widgets, so I made them a lot less than they should be. Now, I also loaded some songs onto here, because it has a built-in music player. Let's get a sample here. Alright, let's have a look at Fancy. Very tinny speaker. Okay, enough of that. There's a small calculator, notes, and an FM radio. So let's go ahead and plug in the yes. Yes, I know, I know. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have it plugged in. Let's go ahead and power on the radio. Uh, let me see if I can... So yeah, it works. Without any problems. Let's have a look at the alarm clocks. Let's just unplug these things. Alright. You can choose between five alarms. You can look at your images. I'm not going to do that right now. It has a bunch of default images as well. But the very strange thing is that some of them are animated. Hold on. Brush. Candy. Oh, these seems to be the non-animated ones. I mean, they're pretty nice, I guess. Alright, and of course, Easy Edge, in my case. I don't know if this was released on any other car um, carriers. Phone insurance. What phone is that? It's like some kind of a Nokia. Um... Now, of course, this phone is no longer in service, so I don't know how it even loaded the Easy Edge shop. 611. You are roaming. To call your mobile carrier or any other phone number, purchase a calling pin. Uh, I can't do that. Turn off. No, turn off, speaker. Okay. So... Let's go into the menu and see what we have here. We have our contacts, multimedia, music, tone room, FM radio, Pac-Man, settings, my schedule, call history, messaging, easy edge, and tools. Now let's have a look at the tools. You have voice command. Please say a command. Check status. Oh. Options. The menus are call name or number, voicemail, missed calls, messages, okay. time and date. Okay, so it's not as good as the other ones. Like, like on this one, you can check like the phone status, like the battery percentage, stuff like that. Same, same with this one. All right, so let's have a look at the camera. Let's have a look at the selfie mode. And there's the crappy S4. And there's me. Okay. And then you could just flip it open for more options. Now, the resolution is 1200 by 1600. I believe that's... 3... 2 megapixels? I'm not sure. But you could take a photo of something or someone. Let's take a photo of my Samsung here. Go and delete it. Alright, let's see, what else can we do with this phone? Uh, I, I used to have Pac-Man on this, but it expired, so I deleted it. So I can't play it for you. Hmm, what to do? Oh, the music. Let's have a look at the music player. Let's see here.
So the speaker isn't very good, honestly. Let's try the headset. See how that works. Okay, it stopped playing. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, so if you have headphones, definitely use them if you're going to use this for music. But it's pretty easy to put music on it if you have, like, Bluetooth or something. That's actually how I got the songs on here. I used my S4 and transferred the songs via Bluetooth. Okay, shut up. Let's try a different song here. But I mean, for a flip phone, I guess it's decent. If it was anything like this phone, that would have been perfect, because this thing has a really nice speaker. Yeah, but it works fine, I guess. No, don't keep playing music. Um, hmm. My menu... Oh, the oh, you can assign things to do in a special menu of yours. Calculator. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Random calculations. Works fine. Uh, how do I go back? Eh. Not very good with this phone. I haven't had much experience with it. Okay. Um, the Bluetooth... This actually has Bluetooth 2.1 with EDR support. I don't know what EDR is, but okay. Um, the supported profiles are headset, hands-free, stereo, audio, remote control, object push, dial-up networking, which is pretty cool, actually. Like, if you're on the road and you don't have service, like you don't have, like, 2G or 3G or 4G, it's not like, it's not like this one can support it anyway. Uh, you could just dial it to, like, AOL or, like, Net Zero or something. File transfer, basic printing, and phone book access. So you can print, like, photos and stuff, apparently. And the main name is UN430, because that's the, that's the model number. Um, when you connect it to a PC, you can either use it as a USB modem or a USB mass storage device. And... You can choose the networks, set NAM. Okay, so it's two NAMs. Let's have, a, let's have a look at the second NAM. Okay, so it doesn't have to restart. That's good. On this one, you have to restart. Auto NAM, serving system. I don't know what serving system is. System select. Location, again, like, location services, and kind of like modern-day phones. Um, the phone itself has 120 megabytes of storage for media, which is pretty good, I guess, for a flip phone. I think my, I think my Motorola has about the same amount. And for a phone like this, I mean, <laughs> 120 megs, really? But for a flip phone, I guess it's more than enough. And I've used up 51.3 megabytes. That's a lot. Reserve memory. You can put in a micro SD card. I did put in my SD card in here and it worked fine. Oh, speaking of SD cards, my S4 here, you know what it did? It corrupted my SD card for the second time. Like, really? It just corrupted the file system. And then I managed to find this application called, um, Recuva, R-E-C-U-V-A, on, on my computer, and it's a free application. It's definitely worth checking out. It, it will recover, like, thousands of files from your corrupted cards, and it's just awesome. Anyway, uh, I'm currently running the version 3 of the software. It also has EasyEdge 3.1.5, .1 .1 
Uh, what else can we do with this phone here? The, all, all these phones have like a tip calculator, which is nice. This one's more of an animated one. So it's nice, I guess. What should the tip be? 30% split by two people. So both people pay three three sixty one. So that's nice. World clock. It's a nice little clock. Nicely animated. Europe cities. Oh, it doesn't have Romania, are you kidding me? Well Athens should do. It's in the same time zone. Wow, it's a very advanced clock there. You can see it has the flag, nice little animated dots. There's Vienna, Berlin, Rome, Amsterdam, Paris, London, Madrid, Lisbon, Azores. Yeah, so it's a very advanced flip phone. I mean, you wouldn't really expect this kind of functionality from a phone like this. Stopwatch. Very good stopwatch, I guess. Unit converter. Currency. Okay. $300. €237. Euros. Uh, area. All sorts of velocity. Uh, 111 miles per hour. So yeah, it works fine. I haven't really had any problems with this phone. Temperature. D does it have Kelvin? No, it does not have Kelvin. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's see. What else can we do with this phone? You can send a message or two. And then you could choose up to four numbers to send it to. Like, let's say I wanted to send it to my employer. Enter text here. Now, just like any other flip phone, you have to, like, kind of like Morse code your way through it. But it has a nice big keypad, so... It's easy to type on. I say? Oh, this is gonna be so silly. I can't think of anything else to say, so I'm gonna say. Get out of my bathroom, send. No, it's not gonna be able to send it because I have no service. God, this phone has terrible focus. Okay, that's perfect. That's not gonna be able to send the message. Cancelled. Alright, so... I've had a really hard time getting this photo and this one onto this phone. It is so hard to get the right resolution. It will not accept anything over 1200 by 1600 and, ugh, it has to be special sizes, and oh, god, it was terrible to get these photos. I'm not kidding. Ugh, I spent at least, like, half an hour trying to get the right photos to work. But, I mean, 